Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning. Thank you so very much for joining me from Dallas, Los Angeles, across the nation, as I talk to some of the most incredible people on the Valder Beebe Show. My next guest is Clay Stackhouse. He's a Marine Corps veteran and a financial expert. Clay Stackhouse, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Hi, Valder. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here on this Marine Corps birthday. I know. Isn't it? How, what, what, what number is it? Well, I mean, I'll let people go to the Marine Corps website and research it for themselves. Know that I'll be partying tonight celebrating. All right, then. Well, let's get started. Uh, we're going to talk money, but let's start with which city topped the 2020 list and how they were chosen for your topic. Okay, well, yeah, at, at Navy Federal, uh, for the last few years, we've done uh, lists for transitioning veterans, right? Like last last year, uh, best careers after service. Uh, and it's we've gotten really good feedback because we're helping those vet veterans during times, you know, where they find, uh, they find it stressful. So we work with our research partners, uh, Meru Matchbox and Sperlings. They come together with Operation Homefront, an organization honestly, like Navy Federal, who's rooted in relentless service to veterans. And we came up with our best cities after service list. So the way we did it, though, is we talked to over a thousand vets and civilians, right, about things like quality of life metrics, uh, cost of living. We talked about housing affordability and access to facilities, proximity to health resources. And we came out with a list that I think is really kind of fun. To tell you the truth, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, by reading off, you know, the bottom first, but you know, Fort Worth is number 10 on our list. <laughs> Texas is always in everything. <laughs> so yeah, uh, our list is is on NavyFederal.org uh, backslash best list, but uh, it's a very widely uh, dispersed list geographically. Now, the top three are in the Southeast, uh, Savannah, Georgia, Fort Myers, Florida, in Charleston, South Carolina, but you know, with 250,000 veterans transitioning uh, every year, I mean, that's a lot of people. Four in four years, you have a million veterans transitioning. It's going to be an individual experience for each one. So we have cities all over uh, the country on this list. Uh, like five is Norwich, Connecticut, uh, up in New England. Uh, eight is Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, San Diego is number six out on the West Coast. So, I mean, when we curated this list, we had an understanding of a lot of factors that men consider, right, and women consider. Okay, uh, Clay. Income, employment rate. Let yeah. me tell my audience, Clay, that uh, you're with the United States Marine Corps Veterans. And we're here, we're talking today about Navy, Federal, and Operation Homefront. And you guys have the top 20 cities for servicemen. Can you tell them, Clay, what Navy Federal is? Because I have a military background being connected to a military family. But a lot of times people don't know what Navy Federal is. Oh, okay, yeah. Navy Federal is a full-service financial institution serving the U.S. military veterans and their families. We're a worldwide organization. Actually, we're the world's largest credit union, and uh, the members are the mission. And that's, um, uh, you alluded to my Marine Corps service. I was in the Marines for 25 years. And I like to say, now that I'm done with the Marines and working with Navy Federal, I'm done chasing the bad guys, and now I'm helping the good guys. And the good guys are our members. Uh, they're those veterans, military members, and families who we help make sure are secure financially. And that's basically what this list and every list we do uh, is revolves around. You said 250 veterans every day transition every year transition. Uh, how has the pandemic impacted that transition? Right, that's 250,000. Thousand. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Right, that's a lot. No, and and you're right because we did this list uh, in 18, and one of the re reasons we revisited this list is because you know we've had some pretty significant things happen in 2020. Uh, the pandemic being obviously a huge one. One of the big takeaways of our study was that uh, a lot of civilian jobs have gone remote, right? So there's not as much as incentive 
to go into that costly uh, urban hub as before. And it's enabled service members as they transition to really drill down on what they want with regard to community or uh, perhaps recreational activities. Uh, I think the bottom line is that it's a very varied list that uh, we ensured we looked at everybody's specific needs, uh, broadened the list all across the country, and had them look individually at where they could transition. Any information online from our audience that listened? Because I'm, I'm watching them on social media, and they do have a lot of questions, and you and I don't have that time. Oh, I'm so happy, because you can call our team at Navy Federal 24-7 on our 1-888 number, but please navyfederal.org backslash best cities to look at our list and drill down and see which one is best for you. All right, best cities for 2020. You veterans get out there and find that information. Clay Stackhouse, Stackhouse, thanks for stopping by the Valder BB show and talking to my military audience. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Valder. Have a great veterans day. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.